All right, cool. Well, here we go. And uh, I know I'm excited too. I've uh, uh, we've been working together what five years at this point? About yeah, about five years because I just got my six year because I'm six years in uh, yeah. real estate. So now I'm five years with you. Yeah, about five years because uh, you did what a year before that, right? Mm -hmm. And well, yeah. uh, well, cool. So you know, uh, welcome in this this week's. Uh, Agent Spotlight interview and Eric Punzone and uh, one of the just the best people in general to be around and uh, to work with that uh, that I've I've ever met. So um, really cool to have you here and excited about it. So a uh, couple quick questions. Uh, let's let's go let's get, jump right into it. And so uh, you know why real estate? What what got you here and uh, why did you choose it and why do you love it? Uh, real estate. I was working in a, a comic book store. And I needed a change. I needed to grow up. Oh, 50 years old, and now I'm finally growing up. Has real estate helped that at all? Or? And real estate has helped me grow up. <laughs> you know, the vein here. I've got a lot of grays here now. Um, but real estate has helped me grow up, helped me mature. And I love it because it's really the moment of showing that person their dream home. And you know you did good because they walk in and they fell, fell in love instantly. You know, so that that's what I like most about it. Uh, and what about you, just in general? What what, what are your passions in life and uh, outside of real estate? What, what? My passions primarily are comic books. I love my superheroes. Um, that's the biggest passion. And then, of course, I like to weight lift and stuff like that. I'm a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> well, for for the clients, and, and and so when you when you dive in, if you were to say, you know, the uh, we know the 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 process of buying a property and uh, or, or transacting real estate, we know that process is uh, it's a long one, right? It's pe mm -hmm. ones that people think about for a long time, and right. they you know, they go th they go through. And so, what is it like working with Eric what, from from the beginning to through the end? Uh, working with me, it's really. And I know this is like taboo to say, but I'm not about the dollar sign. Never been about the dollar sign. I'm about finding that dream home. Now that screwed me a lot in the past, but it did, you know, it, 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 it empowers me and it makes that client know that they can trust me, that I'm not gonna throw them into something because I want that extra commission. I'm gonna throw them into something that they're gonna love for the rest of their lives. And, and, and about finding that house, I mean, what is, uh... You know, there's so many different processes, and, and what I've realized is uh, I think less experienced agents uh, tend to really, unfortunately, waste their own time, but also waste the, the buyer's time, uh, confusing people looking at too many properties. What's the home search process like with you? Um, home search with me, it's I like to... I don't like to show anything more than five properties because of the confusion, and I hate that. You know, I did it once, and across the board, the buyers and myself, we all regretted it. Um, you know, I, I, I put them in a search, and I do that simple thing, but I'm on my end, I, I'm not afraid to drive around if I see a for sale by owner. I'll snap, snap a picture. You know, some for, not all, but some for sale by owners will work with an agent, so... I'll do that extra little work where I could be ahead of the market or try to be ahead of the market. And then when you find it, right? I mean, once you f actually find this, uh, <laughs> this dream home that, that, you know, you've been looking for. Uh, so we've been in a seller's market, uh, for a few years, but as of the time we're recording this, we're in, I mean, a heck of a seller's market, right? I mean, right, it's, yeah. it's, it's crazy. There's 10, 15 offers. People throw in crazy prices at it. Um, what steps outside of just here, dump all your cash away, what steps are you taking to help your buyers, you know, achieve their goal once they find the right property? Well, a big thing with me uh, to help them find the right property, I feel that uh, it helps when we make offers that we do the letter thing. But nowadays, be careful with the letter thing. Watch out, you know. Um, but that was a big thing. And then just trying to stay ahead, you have to try, you have to at least talk to the agent so you could do some kind of a rapport. It's not guaranteed, but at least you know you'll be in the running. Right. You know, so that's very important to me. Uh, you know, your, your clients always love working with you. And yes. that's, uh, and hopefully that provides the patience to deal with the market that we're in. It, uh, it takes a lot of patience to deal with this market right now. Uh, and... I always, it's very important when you're in a very tough market to make your f client feel confident and always, I always tell them if they don't get the house, it just wasn't meant to be. And I play that whole uh, superstition, 
you know, and people really like it. And I believe that. Part of me does believe that, you know. But um, so that go, and that covers some ground for a while. <laughs> you know, I believe it too. It's so funny. It's almost like every contract that the buyer doesn't get their quote unquote dream house, the next one that they end up in better, nicer, better location, something, right? right. It always seems to work out. Right. Should I, so if a buyer's going to ask you, hey, should I wait? Um, you know, to enter the market, should I, you know, should I, uh, should I buy a house now? Um, and I think we're hearing that from places, but we've really heard that for five years, right? So a little bit more so now, but, um, you know, for somebody that's curious out there that uh, might be watching this and says, Hey, is now a good time for me to enter the market? Um, you know, what is your take on that? My take, it's a very safe investment right now because the way other uh, investments are going. Real estate is very safe. Mm -hmm. So it's really, you know, I, I try to work with them. I see what their best can be. And if their best isn't good enough and I know it's a waste of time, I'll be honest. Yeah. You know, and I'll turn around and I'll be like, maybe you should wait a little bit. Because some people that are waiting for the market to crash, that ain't going to happen in Orlando. It doesn't happen. Or, or maybe when they're ready, you know, right. for the market. I, I don't think they're going to get a lower price um, next year or two years oh, from yeah. now. Um, I think the prices are going to continue to appreciate. In interest rates are most likely going to go up. They're not going down. We know that. Mm -hmm. They're as lowest they've ever been. Um, so I, I think uh, what you said, there has a lot of validity to it. You know, is that buyer ready right now? Um, they're not going to get a better deal by waiting, but maybe they'll have more money, right? right. And, uh, and be able to compete right okay cool uh where do you feel like out of the whole process from when you start shopping to all the way when you uh close and hand the buyer the keys to the new house uh wh where are you most valuable <laughs> okay this is going to be honesty i'm <laughs> really valuable in the beginning to find you your house to make that all the dreams come true from the accepting contract to closing i'm useless I am, as Ryan will say, my paperwork is worse than his. So if it wasn't for our transaction coordinator, shut up, Mark, I would be a mess. <laughs> so I, 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 I'm strong as I can be, you know, with it, but it's not my strength. My strength is the beginning and the end, the book ends. The middle, I'm shaky with. I'll, but I do the best I can. I, I, Five years of working with you, I'll disagree a little bit. I'll 100% agree your paperwork's terrible. <laughs> uh, that's why we pay people for that. Um, but at the same point in time, I mean, things come up in contracts, right? I remember when we got to the end of the year last year, and we were looking at cancellations, and we were looking at things, and I mean, you sold almost 30 houses last year and had one cancellation, which is just astounding numbers um you know and where so that's contract to close mm -hmm. and so um i i think you're actually really good at holding the contract together as long as somebody else can fill the paperwork out right <laughs> <laughs> as long as somebody else to delegate to i'm good one of the things that i've always said about you that i i, I, I think is uh it's very true and if i was just to describe eric i i, I this is how i describe you and i just say hey you know he's that guy that at the end of it when the people end up in the house um he's like family you know he's become family and uh you know to to a, a level that I've, i don't think i've seen out of anyone else and what is it about that interaction the way you go through it because it can be a stressful thing right buying a house right so what is it about that that you think gets you such a connection with your the people you work with i most of my people are uh that i have the connection with are from my sphere which is from the comic shop. So it's my prior job that's really built me a rapport already with some people. Um, so they're easier. When it's somebody I don't want to do a referral and I have to be on, I just am me. You know, I, I see agents that pretend and try to be something they're not and I don't want to be that. I don't want to stick my foot in my mouth. You know, I don't want to say something to sound better but get it all wrong and get in right. trouble. So I'm just myself, and if I'm clueless about somebody, you know, I turn around and I cry to Ryan, and Ryan fixes it. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well, so if anyone, for those of that aren't part of this gr huge group of people who are already working with you that call you for everything and use you for real estate, if, uh, uh, if somebody that's not already part of that doesn't have your information, what's the best way to reach out and contact you? Best way to reach out is to call or text me, 941-592-8040. Just give me a call, shoot me a text. I'm always happy to help and answer any questions I can. Super cool. Well, yeah. I've had fun.
Thanks for sitting down with me, sir. Thank you, Ryan. Awesome. <laughs>